number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. This is video number nine in this series I've been making about building an old school Zettel costume. I'm making this video in response to a request made by someone who viewed the seventh video in this series, which was about why I handwrite notes on source cards. In that video, I spoke of those notes as reminders and talked about how I typically create just a handful of idea cards based on the reminders I write on source cards. One viewer of the video, who uses an icon that suggests their life consists of one mind-blowing experience after another, asked that I make a video about turning a reminder note on a source card into an idea card. In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I create a card based on a couple of reminders written on a source card. The text that the idea card is going to be based on is Johann Hari's Stolen Focus. Serendipitously, I purchased and downloaded this book the day before a so-called atmospheric river pounded the west coast in the US and knocked out the power for close to 48 hours where I'm staying. That was serendipitous because it deprived me of access to one of the major things that Hari observes often steals our focus, the internet. I ended up reading a lot more those two days the power was out than I usually do. And on source cards, I took notes about what I read. All right, that's the intro to this video. We'll now move on to the rest of the video where I walk you through my process of converting notes on source cards into statements on idea cards. So the first thing I'll do is point out what I have here on the table. There's a couple things here that you have not seen me use in previous videos. So there's this notebook that has some notes in it. I've got this pen from Baron Fig, which is nice to write with. I have some blank four by six index cards here. And then I have some pens that are different colors. So this book that I have been reading by Johan Hari called Stolen Focus, it's one that I'm reading on Kindle. Um, more specifically, I'm reading it on my phone. So when I'm taking notes on that text, I'm doing, as I've shown in previous video, I'm doing that note taking on a five by seven note card. And I've got a couple note cards here. Um, one is for an article that I'm reading in the form of a PDF, so I'll put that one back. So what I'm looking at here on this card are a whole bunch of notes that I have taken on the introduction and the first chapter of Hari's book. And there's a couple notes here that I'm thinking that I want to turn into an idea card. There's one about this loss of depth that people apparently experience in this world where our focus is being stolen from us. And then there's also this idea a couple pages later where the person he's interviewing says that slowness nurtures attention. So... I've already, prior to starting this video, I've already found a card in my Zettelkasten that I think that this new card I'm going to create could go behind. And that card, which I'll quickly show here, this is a card about the importance of simply pausing to become aware of what you are thinking. And this is an idea that you get exposed to if you do readings about meditation or actually engage in meditation. And what I'm going to do with this, I don't necessarily do this with every new card that I add to my Zettel costume, but since there is a card that this card I want to write has, I think, a good enough relation to, I'm going to go ahead and start writing that card, kind of referring back to this card that is currently in my hand. And when I write these cards, I typically will write a rough draft. That's actually what this notebook is largely for. So I'll write rough drafts of the cards before I actually uh, put words on an actual four by six card. So I'm gonna go into my notebook here. I'm just gonna create a new spot here for Johann Hari's book. And the first thing I need to do is actually go back into the text and look at the relevant passages, because at this point, they're not fresh enough in my mind to, to try to write a draft of this card without looking back at the text. So looking, looking on my phone here where I'm reading this text, uh, I see that there is this short passage, and I'm probably just going to write it down here. Uh, and it says depth takes time and depth takes reflection. So I'm going to write that down here because I'm thinking I might include that in the card in some way. And now I'm going to go to the other passage that was referred to on my 
source card. All right, so that took me longer to find than I had anticipated, but I have found the passage, and it's this, this passage that's basically, uh, as I said earlier, this, the idea is this, uh, as stated by one of the interviewees, is that slowness nurtures attention. So at this part in the book, which appears to be pages 35 and 36, uh, Hari is talking about uh, how to increase focus by deliberately slowing down. That's more or less taken verbatim from the text. So I'm just going to write a few words here to kind of capture this idea, and then I'm going to get to work actually drafting this idea card. All right, so I have down here the, the notes that I need in order to create this idea card. And I am finding that it is very appropriate that I am making idea cards specifically about this particular idea of slowness and attention and focus and depth, because that's kind of what building a Zettelkasten in an analog format can, can be. It can be this instantiation of this, this slowness that is conducive to developing ideas and compelling lines of thinking. So again, when I draft this card, I am going to be maybe pulling some language from this card here that I am going to place this new card behind so as to establish a clear connection between the two cards. Oh, and this, by the way, this is called Yerba Mate. This is also another essential feature for intellectual work. And yeah, that's not a traditional gourd. It's made of metal. So I'll pause here right now to, to say that one thing I'm noticing right now is that as I'm trying to create this connection between the new card and the existing card, I keep on feeling inclined actually to create a couple new cards based on the card that I want to create this new card in connection to. And so I'm starting to think that maybe I should create those extra cards. But then I just think I might have come up with a way to actually write this card without having to write all those other cards as well. So I'm attempting that now. All right, so I think I am done with this draft of this note. The next thing I would do is I would type this up into Obsidian. So I use Obsidian to back up my notes also to create connections between them that it just wouldn't make sense to try to create on analog Zettelkasten cards. Typing that up in Obsidian provides me with another opportunity to make changes to the draft. And once it's in Obsidian, it's basically gone through two drafts. And once it's in there and all typed up, it's only then that I usually will actually write the contents of the card onto the index card itself. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So the card that I'm putting this new card behind has as its card address 4B. So for this card I would put 4B1 except that I've actually used that card address for another card. Uh, I've also used 4B2 so this is going to be 4B3. <laughs> As you can see here, I provide parenthetical citations for the points that I'm making on this card. I don't think that titles are absolutely necessary to have on cards, but usually I do come up with a title after I have typed the contents of the card into Obsidian. So yeah, the title I just gave to it was Slowness Good for Attention, Reflection, Depth. Uh, there are a couple commas in there, and those are, commas are not things that I can put in the titles in my obsidian files because of the way that I have queries set up. If you're querying something and it's got a comma in the title, it causes problems. Your, your query's not going to work. So when I go to add this note to obsidian, I'm probably just going to replace the commas with the word and. So that's it. That is what it looks like, kind of, when I am creating a new card and adding it into my Zettelkasten behind an already existing card. The process is not a particularly fast one, but the more you do this type of work, the more I think you will find that slow is fast. Slow is the way to go when you are doing intellectual work.